Hello friends, this is Alpesh here and welcome again to my channel called with J. In this video, we are going to check about the angular reactive forms. So let's get started. So before moving to the subject uh, angular reactive form, I would highly recommend you to subscribe to my channel. And uh, at the end of uh, this video, with, uh, please put your comments and please hit like or dislike button based on your feedback okay so let's get started so in this video i am going to talk about two things <coughs> angular reactive forms and uh, there are two types of forms there one is uh, template driven form and this uh, the second one is model based or you can say the reactive form so in this video we are going to talk about the reactive forms so uh, like basically like reactive forms are uh, kind of a forms with a way like most of the things are written in the component class instead of the uh, HTML part like in template driven uh, you need to put those things into HTML part itself so let's see like what are the advantages and disadvantages of the reactive forms so basically first thing is like uh, you uh, all the code are there in your class or TypeScript files, so you you have greater control over your code. Uh, then second thing is uh, like uh, it's uh, so you have all these steps in your TypeScript files, so it's better very uh, like much better uh, for the unit testing than the template driven form. Because there you don't have your any control over the source code. Then another thing is like there is no two-way binding. There will be single binding only there. So speed will be much better compared to the template driven form. Then another thing is like it is uh, very good for the complex scenario where you need to put some dynamic validation. Uh, whether you need to compare it with some database values or something like that then it is much better and efficient than the template driven forms. Uh, there are a couple of scenarios there like dynamic validations comparing two fields. So all these scenarios can be better handled by reactive forms. Then uh, the last but not the least, like all things are there in TypeScript files. So your business logic can be better integrated with this particular type of form. So these all are the advantages of the reactive forms, but there are a couple of disadvantages also there. The first thing is like there is no two-way binding. So you don't get any benefit of the two-way binding because the thing is that like, like uh, it's, it's like most of the code are there in the TypeScript file and we are just writing few things in the HTML. It, so it does not support uh, to a binding and there will not be any model for that and the second uh, thing is that like you, you need to write more code compared to template driven programs or the forms because like here you, all the configuration and everything will be there in the typescript file itself so what we are waiting for let's get started in the code itself okay so here you can see like this is the standard angular app there so it is running on the 4200 and if i see in the command prompt itself uh, what i have done is like i have created a app called uh, cool app and uh, then like basically uh, what I have done is uh, like I have opened my Visual Studio code which is there here and here you can see like it is a pretty standard basic app where you have app modules, app component and all the other uh, things are there and then what I have done is I have run that kind of uh, app via ng-serve and it is running in my browser so here you can see like this is a pretty standard basic app so for the our app example we don't need all these steps so let's first get rid of all these steps 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this stuff. And we are going to remove this also. And if I run my app again, like uh, it's a hot reloading, so it will load my app. Okay, so all things are there. Now, to start with the reactive programming in the Angular, we need to have reactive module forms module. So what we need to do is we need to import it from Angular slash forms. We need to have this reactive forms module and we also need to import that reactive forms module here also. Let me copy first. Okay, now it's compiling and it should be fine. Okay, it's good. Now let's let me directly go into the our app component and here we are going to write a simple form called employee form which contains three fields first name, last name and email. So let's get started. So here also we need to have a couple of things imported. So let me back again call Angular forms. And here we have form control, form builder. form group and in the form okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an employee form type of form form group okay now what I am going to do is I am going to create a constructor and here I am going to have form builder. Type of form builder. Right. And then what I am going to do is I am going to create this employee form with form builder dot group. And here we are going to create three fields there, which is called first name, which is a type of form control. Same way we are going to have last name. We are going to have form control and same way we are going to have Form control here also. Okay. Now for submitting of the form, we need one but uh, method called on submit, and we are going to have play form of type form group, and we are just going to print it via console.log because here right now we are not going to uh, write uh, any business logic there now let's move into the uh, the HTML part so what we are going to do is we are going to create a form then here we are going to have form group and we are going to have employee form here and then we are going to have a method called ng submit and then we are going to have on submit and employee form here and in this 
we are going to create one more div in that i am going to have input type equal to text and control equal to part name and we are going to have slash folder called first name and we need to put some space there so we are going to use dr let me copy paste this key thing there and here we are going to have last name and last but do not delete we are going to have a submit button and we are going to call it okay let's see how it goes with the compilation okay. So here you can see like what I have done is I have created a form group called employee form which is same here like uh, this is the same one and then I am passing that employee form to here and what I am doing I am binding this input types with form control name which is I have created here like first name, last name and email. Okay, now let's run this app. Okay, and like if I put something like that, and if I submit that, so here you can see which is uh, like the console.log is there. In, in this, uh, here you can see the value is not there. Okay. We need to see what there. Okay, I shall figure out the issue. We need to have form control name to should be fine now. So what I am going to do is write something here and save that Here you can see like all the values are there. So this is how we get all these values from directory forms. I hope you like this video uh, and I would highly recommend you to subscribe to my channel Code with Jenny because it gives me motivation to create this kind of videos and I continue to do more videos like this. Thank you again for watching this video. Bye-bye.